going on YouTube, Flames here, and today guys what I wanted to talk to you all about is what my future gaming plans are, or I guess my future plans, as in within this next month, Optic Halo will not be competing at tournaments. For those who did not watch this past weekend, unfortunately, we did not make it to Worlds. I will break it down real quickly. We had to win our pool 3-0 if we wanted to make it to Worlds, and if we didn't win 3-0 because another team won 3-0 like Legion did, we would have to have come with a record of 2-1, and one. and our record at the end of the weekend was 1-2, and two. so Friday started off us playing Triggers Pound. We lost the overall series 3-1. Game 1, we lost 3-2, True Flag. Game 2, we won Slayer. Game 3, they kind of took it away on Plaza Stronghold. And Game 4 was Coliseum Flag, which we lost, I believe, 2-1. But the entire weekend, we could not win a Coliseum Flag. There's definitely a map, a game type that we're definitely going to have to work on to improve in the future. That was day one. Going to day two of the tournament, we had played Dream Team. We 3-1 them. We knew that if we 3-0 them, we would have had an easier chance or more of a cushion to play Allegiant where we could lose more games because then that means we probably would have had a better record than other teams because everyone in our pool at the end of the weekend ended up either losing 3-1 or winning 3-1 or you get the picture 3-1. 3-1 Dream Team go against Allegiant and at the current time we heard that we either had to 3-1 them if it was for us and them to move on or 3-0 them if it's for us and Triggers Pound to move on. Now so obviously we're only worrying about ourselves so we have that one game loss cushion. We go into the series we lose game one. Strongholds the entire time with this team uh, for the rig and Eden at least were our weakest game modes along with uh, Coliseum, CTF. Those were just our three weakest game modes. One way or another, we're gonna have to improve on those game modes so we'll be able to watch the rebroadcast. I've already watched the rebroadcast. There's so many things everyone on our team, including myself, could have done in order to improve on the situation we were put in games. There were a lot of things that we could have done to actually have won games. At the end of the day, when you kind of go watching uh, the broadcast and see everything from a third eye, it's always a lot easier to say that you could have done something different in the perfect world, but uh, during game, obviously things are different. But from watching it, there were just so many things definitely that we could have done better. And that's good for us to know because in that way we can improve. After we lost 3-1 to Allegiance, we knew we were out of the tournament or we were not going to be invited to Worlds, so it was a bummer. It was a shocker. It's the first time I haven't placed in the top eight since 2010, I want to say. So that's six years and running. So it's been a super long streak. It is sad for me to finally pace out of there, but that gives me more motivation. I just don't ever want to go through this situation again, so I definitely want to be playing more. I actually just got off of Money 8. I won $20 from Stellar. Might be $10. We have to switch somebody on his team because uh, Frosty was initially on his team. We were up 2-1 in the series, and then Frosty just went MIA, so we had a replacement, and we ended up winning the overall series 4-2. That was my Money 8 match, but moving along now, it is to the future. What is Optic Halo going to do? What am I going to be doing? I'm still going to be competing. Optic Halo is still going to be a thing. But in the meantime, we're going to let Halo play its course. We're going to let these teams go to Worlds. We're going to be watching from the side. And then once everything is said and done, we see who the world champs are. Then from there, we could start building, structuring, or figuring out an idea of where we want to go with the team. But for myself, I still want to compete. I fell after this tournament, after this weekend. I still have what it takes to hang with the best. So I 100%, like I said, I'm gonna be gaming 10 times harder. What that means for you all is that if you do want to catch my stream, I believe I want to go from like two to seven every single day. That's not gonna be set in stone until next week or until a full week of what the structure or the schedule is that I do want to use. So be on the lookout for that. I'll definitely tweet that out, so be sure to follow that. All those good links are in the description below. And personally for myself, what I may be doing is one thing is definitely might be possibly going to California with Embos to go hang out with Nature, make some YouTube videos out there, and just hang out with him. He tweeted out the other day, it's like I can't believe none of my homies have come out so far. For the record, I have been out there and I have hung out with them, but definitely thinking about going out there with Bose, maybe even Big T, so we'll see how that goes. The other thing I do want to bring up is that I may be talent at Worlds. I don't know if I do want to do it. I don't even know if I'll get it, but I have made a request to possibly be there. If the request is met and they do give me the green light, then I may be there as a pastor, analyst, on floor, interviewer, whatever it may be. You may be seeing my face at Worlds. If you guys think that is a pretty cool thing, be sure to leave a thumbs up. I've never done anything like this before, so if I do get the green light, I'm definitely going to be watching a lot of uh, Casters, Benson, 
puck it, wall sees strong side goes, and just casters it throughout all esports and try to see like kind of where like I guess my kind of style I would want to use and whatnot, or what would feel most comfortable for me. And for the most part, I mean, I already talked to this camera right here for the most part of, of my day, so I think it will be a bit easy, but I definitely think casting is a talent in itself, so I definitely think going to take me a while to learn it, and I definitely am going to make mistakes, but if you guys think, like I said, that is a cool thing for me to still be doing, to still be around the scene since we will not be competing, be sure to leave a thumbs up. And there is that, and so to the fans, like I said, all I could do from here on out is game 10 times harder, try 10 times harder, and make sure that I improve as much as I can in this month until Worlds, so that when Worlds is over and everything is announced for it, you know, the seasons to come, that I'm ready None of my talent was lost. I'm sharper than ever, and I'm just ready to compete. If y'all did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. So this is your boy Flamsard. See you guys next time. Peace.